Well, the rollout of listings that have been leaking online of Transformers products seems to not stop at all. It's kind of interesting. Friday, we had BotBot. Saturday, we had Cyberverse and some crossover teases. Sunday, we had Kingdom and some Miscellanea. And today, Monday, the beginning of the week and starting with the beauty of May, we have some Studio Series live action stuff and some Studio Series 86 stuff. Both of this stuff is planned for next year of 2022. So don't get too excited to see this stuff this year, but it is stuff that is in the works for next year. So what do we got here in these listings? What are these UPC codes and what do we have? Well, let's start with the Studio Series stuff that's related to the live action movies. And all of these lean into that of the Bumblebee movie, more specifically that much beloved Cybertronian scene at the beginning of the movie. <clears throat> and these are actually quite exciting for me. Uh, the first one we have here is a Transformers Generation Studio Series Deluxe TF6, a.k.a. the Bumblebee movie, being the sixth of the live-action franchise. Brawn. So we got a Deluxe Brawn coming. That's awesome. I love Brawn. He's one of my favorites of all of the mini-bots. To get a movie version of him that looks like that old G1 design is super. We could get some getting-hit-in-the-shoulder action all over again from that one scene. The next one we have here is a deluxe studio series TF6 Ratchet. So also Ratchet is going to be joining the crew, looking like his old Generation 1 self with the white and red as opposed to his vibrant emergency yellow that he was sporting all the while from the Bay movies. The one after this, studio series deluxe TF6 Wheeljack. So... Yet another one, Wheeljack basing him off of his G1 design from that Bumblebee movie appearance. And the last one that's the most interesting because it'll probably lead to more stuff later on, Studio Series Voyager Class TF6 Soundwave. Now, does Soundwave come with a cassette? Is he going to have cassette packs later? We don't know. I think he's going to have them packed in. I could see Soundwave being packaged as a deluxe in a Voyager packaging and having a small little Ravage or laser beak uh, in that package too, much like how he got with his little three-pack that we had with the Netflix series. So that's pretty cool too. I think uh, there was a third-party company that we talked about in the past about a movie Soundwave. So I'm going to be very interested to see how these transformations pan out because a majority of these characters that we've discussed here already have not really shown alt modes. So what does Braun turn into? What does Ratchet turn into? What does Wheeljack turn into? And really in the end, what does Soundwave turn into? You know, those are going to be some interesting takes to say the least. Very interesting. Now let's get into the Studio Series 86 stuff that we have coming next year. First one on the chopping block, and uh, I'm excited about it because I, I was when people ask me what would I like to see next from Studio Series 86, I kept saying I want to see that you know broadcast scene. I want to see Blaster and I want to see Perceptor. So at least one half of that is happening in a Studio Series Deluxe Class 86 Bla um, Perceptor. So we're finally getting Perceptor. What's good about this too also is because right now the Titan Returns Perceptor, which is probably the most modern Perceptor we have right now, goes for pretty crazy money in the secondary market. And with this coming out and being very show accurate or movie accurate in this case, uh, it'll probably lighten the load and the damage and the value on that uh titan's return version so if you want to cash in right now sell that perceptor uh because a new one is coming and he's going to be probably pretty awesome which also makes me wonder is this perceptor going to come with a background scene of that famous broadcast you know run blasta save yourself you know i'm pretty interested to see what happens with that that's pretty cool that's going to be a very popular item that's going to be uh signed in future tf cons I get a feeling because that's some good stuff. Um, then we get to the Voyager class. Now, what's interesting about this is we're already jumping into a repaint slash retool because we already know of a Voyager class 86 rec art that's going to be coming in the future that's going to be joined in a case with a Voyager Studio Series 86 sweep, which is a retool repaint of Scourge. 
And this one here we have now saying we're going to be getting a Studio Series 86 Voyager class Junkyard, which is Junkyard was one of the uh, Junkions. He's ki It's kind of a confusing trademark thing uh, because... Junkyard, when you really follow the trademark history, was the name of a G.I. Joe, I guess I'll use air quotes here, character. It was actually a G.I. Joe dog. Uh, there was the character Mutt from G.I. Joe, and his dog was named Junkyard. That trademark expired, I think, like in 2003, I want to say. And when they got around to doing the character of Junkyard, the Junkie on with a repaint of, uh, repaint retool of that old generation's, uh, Recar. They didn't have Junkyard. They went with Junk Heap instead, which was kind of a fusion of Scrap Heap and Junkyard, I guess. So you got Junk Heap. And then Scrap Heap ended up coming out in a Japanese release in a three-pack. And then we got Scrap Iron, which was like a Shattered Glass-only version of a, of a Junkion. So there's all these different Junkion trademarks that have been kicking around. And I guess now they finally came back to Junkyard. I firmly believe they came back to Junkyard just because you could use that synergy with both brands. Hasbro likes to have stuff that they could use across their different brands so they could get use out of those trademarks that they register and not have to worry about having to stick it somewhere else when there's a rollover in the future. I hate it when people always say, like, oh, they don't want to create confusion between the brands. Look, you're going to see a shockwave in G.I. Joe. You're going to see a shockwave in Transformers. You're going to see a sideswipe in G.I. Joe. You're going to see a sideswipe in Transformers. You're going to see a roadblock in G.I. Joe. And you're going to see a roadblock in Transformers. It's going to happen. And Hasbro likes to kind of do that because it saves them some money. Those trademarks are a lot of money, and they involve a lot of headaches. The next one here. Oh, and I just want to also mention, um, you know, when we talk all like the Junkions that exist up to this point, you know, we also have uh, Detritus, um, but he's a hound repaint, and I'm surprised that has not happened yet with that Siege mold. So maybe we'll, when we get a hound in the future, we'll probably get a Detritus at some point. The last one we're going to talk about here is a leader class. It's a studio series... 86 leader class king starscream now the way i see this being done is probably in the similar kind of vein of how they handled 86 hot rod 86 hot rod was a deluxe sized figure with voyager engineering you know the little bells and whistles flip out hands opening closed fists the flip down uh visor so the engineering was for a Voyager, but it still really was scale wise a deluxe figure. And then they included some extra accessories to really bolster and justify that Voyager price point. I think it's going to be the same thing here with Scott Starscream. I think Starscream is going to be a Voyager scale figure, and they're going to include little extras and bells and whistles, whether it be the crown, the cape, the shoulder pads, maybe something extra on top of them, maybe a gun mode uh, Megatron. Who knows? You know, just to reenact the uh, attack on the Autobot shuttle scene also, separate from the King Starscream coronation scene. And uh, that'll justify a leader class price point. Hopefully we won't uh, have yet another leader class Studio Series 86 with a squat character that has no articulation, like now we have with the little Daniel and the uh, wheelie. But again, I, 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 could, I could understand that and I could dig that. The only thing that I'm concerned about in relation to all of this is this is going to be next year, 2022, and we just discussed a couple of days ago how Hasbro is going to be raising the prices. So just to reiterate, right now, as of this recording, Studio Series 86 Deluxes are $19.99, pretty much $20. Bucks. Studio Series 86 Voyagers are $29.99, pretty much $30. Bucks. And Studio Series 86 Leader Classes are $49.99, aka $50. Bucks. That probably won't be the case when all of these guys come out next year because there will be a price increase before this year is over. So that's going to be very interesting to see how that goes down. So as it stands right now, it's probably we're going to see deluxes maybe in that 23 to 25 range for Studio Series 86. For the Voyagers, maybe 23 to, uh, excuse me, 33 to 35. And for the leaders, maybe 53 to 55. Maybe they'll keep the price on the leader. Sometimes the higher price point, they hold back a little bit. But 
We'll see what happens. It's very hard to tell, but they did say price increases are coming. So keep that in mind with this list that we discussed here today. They're going to be more expensive later on because of what is the plans for next year. For what are the plans pretty much for the end of this year, but also for next year when this product will come out. Let me know what you think. This is great stuff. I'm hoping that there's going to be more because the way it looks like here um, with this packaging rollout in a lot of ways, because we have one, two, we have three deluxes here. No, we have four deluxes, so that's going to be the case assortment right there. We got our two Voyagers in that of Soundwave and, and the uh, Junkyard, and then we got our Leader Class Starscream. So that looks like that's going to be a wave right there in itself, so there's probably no holes in this, this discussion that we've had today. You know, maybe uh, we might learn something that'll be coming, you know, in between this because we still don't know the 100% story with what's happening with the Rekar and Sweep Wave, but hopefully we'll learn more about it and hopefully Hasbro will come forward and show us some images and give us a, a more official announcement instead of having to dig through all these UPCs to really learn what's going on. We still got all those listings that had really uh, ambiguous names like Alabama and stuff like that, so we'll find out what's happening with that hopefully in the near future. Let me know what you think. This is great stuff otherwise. Great product. Everything on this list, in all honesty, is a winner for me, uh, mostly because I just love those designs and I love the 86 movie.